Hello there, assassins. Welcome back to ah another wheel assassin guide. <laughs> I look so tiny in comparison with this building. It is unbelievable. Um, basically, the reason we are outside here in the second floor corridor today is because, as you guys know, if you have seen episode number eight and you've been building along with me, we are basically up to a point where we can almost move up to the attic. We literally have ourselves this little room in here to go through this little one in here to go through and then we need to build the staircase upwards towards the attic literally there is such little sections to go until we reach ourselves an entirely kind of completed creel house interior which is very exciting stuff indeed um so yeah we're going to be trying to get as much as po um, possible completed today in episode number nine um and then hopefully when it comes to episode 10 we can kind of put in the final details so yeah, I'm not really too certain as far as we're going to get today because I am filming this before actually building the new one. Um, but I reckon we're going to make some insane progress. I'm excited. Are you guys? Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. Alrighty, so I'm inside of our kind of uh, not completed krill house. Our work in progress krill house, if you like. I'm going to take myself some spruce wood, some mangrove wood, some dark oak planks, some dark oak trapdoors, an oak, uh, <laughs> an oakry um, frog light, stripped dark oak wood, a dark oak slab, a lantern, the normal one. Oh, it's the pig! I could see something moving down there. I was a bit concerned, <laughs> and uh, some spruce planks as well. Now we have enough materials here to get both of these rooms done, and then hopefully the attic staircase done too. So now, if we come into this first door on our corridor, as if we're coming up the stairs. So this one straight away on the right here. We're going to use this one to build our room. Now, of course, you want to separate where the um, attic stairs are going to be from this room. And then, of course, this um, third room, technically, along this corridor here. So, for that, we're going to use this wall to the left of the inside of this door. I hope that makes sense. So, almost towards the uh, attic doorway. We're going to go up and leave about four of these. One, two, three, and four. Now, on five, we're going to match the wood here, going around this way. And what we're also going to build four. One, two, three, four. We're also going to build five, but this one's going to come out for three. One, two, three. Three visible from the inside of the room. If I place an, a frog light down just so you can see what I'm on about. So we've gone one, two, three, four, visible. The fifth one in the corner. And then we drop down for three past that one in the corner. So these are visible on the inside of the room. We add in one more block here. And then this should lead us to another door on this side of the room in a moment um, which is going to be into this way so that's perfect awesome so that's looking good now I'm going to go to this side of the door and I'm going to go to the middle of these three here and I'm going to work myself along uh, until I stop just about let me just check something here yeah uh, let me switch my pictures around just so I can see what I'm on about I think we have to lob off that block there in the corner of this room just to make it more square. Uh, yeah, it seems to be seems to be what we've done there. Okay, so we add in a block just there as well as this five. Perfect, so now if we come back onto this room, yeah, that's looking good. So of course we build the walls up the exact same way as the others. Three lots of mangrove above each of the spruce. And then uh, of course we add in the two layers of spruce once again above. Now the space in here, by the way, it's not gonna be used up at all so if you wanted to go ahead and just block that off you could um, but what I'm going to do is leave it empty at the moment until I've built the staircase in because we may end up needing that space same with over here I think we do end up kind of cutting into the top of this room like these blocks here uh, so we'll sort out afterwards of course okay so let's go ahead and just build the rest of this room up we'll do three blocks above these ones and then we're only going to do two for these ones over here I'll show you why in a moment so we do these ones like that. I'm going to add in the doorway over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick three trap doors, four against that door of course, my plank for the actual door frame, and then my spruce wood above of course, like that. Wonderful, so we have the door on that one. We already have an outside door on this one I believe, or we might not. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one. We add one on the right side of this wall, just so it doesn't take up too much of this room space. So if you guys want to make a room in here, you can feel free and then both the doors will be you know, it, without being in the way, just here. That looks lovely. Okay, the last thing to do in this room is just to smooth over the roof. 
using the higher wall over here to bring some spruce wood backwards like this. Some stripped spruce wood, of course. I think this is stripped spruce. <laughs> stripped dark oak. <laughs> there we are. One or the other. It doesn't really matter which one, but if you've used stripped dark oak the entire way around the house, may as well just stick to the same thing. And now we just go ahead and stick frog lights in the corners of the room. Just like that. Just to give it a bit more light in here. Can take out that one on the floor now. If you'd also like to replace the floor in here with your stripped dark oak, then please feel free. It's not the, you know, the most important thing ever because, of course, this room is not furnished. But if it is kind of a thing you just want to do just because, then feel free. So I'm just going to change up this one as well in here. I may as well do under the doorway there, but I'm going to use myself my normal spruce wood, just like I've done over there. Yeah, it looks good. Kind of good. All right, if we go into the other room uh, in the, over here, this one is now completed pretty much because we have you know, almost everything done. If I spin around this way, so we're using the hallway door just there, I'm going to leave this one kind of making sure it's open or it's looking open. Stick a frog out on the floor so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the left of this door and I'm going to make sure that the door is open so it's kind of swung open like that. We already have this one open down here, but I'm going to fold it against the bathroom wall instead. So just over here instead. Like that. So now it's a little bit more accessible here. We have a door in there already, and we have a door in there already, so we don't need to add in any more for this room. However, the roof in here is going to be upwards to three blocks in height, as we have here already. We want three blocks visible, whereas in here, we only have the two blocks of spruce visible. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bring our... Uh, firstly, change these up, just so that the entire inside of the room looks the same. And then go ahead and take your stripped dark oak wood and run it from one side of the room to the other using the same material. Now this will be very important later when we build the attic space because this is going to be the new floor for our attic room. So literally this section, this little room here that's not furnished is actually very important for what comes above it. Vecna's hidey hole, which sounds kind of wrong, but <laughs> I mean it in the, you know, his little sort of hiding place. Should have said that in the first place, that would have made more sense. Um, but there we go, like so. Now I'm going to need to break myself back in, so I'll just jump in there, that's fine. And I'm going to stick myself my frog light still underneath, but uh, in each four corners of the room. Now if you guys want to change the floor in here, then we'll get on to building the attic stairs. See now then, that looks a lot more tidy, doesn't it? If we match the roof with the floor, it just looks kind of cool. So yeah, that's all done now. So is this room, and that means every single room on the second floor now it is actually sectioned off. So that's perfect. We've basically completed the second floor now. Happy days. It started very, very slowly, didn't it, with uh, Alice's room over here, but we've really made some good progress. You guys should be proud of this for sure. Okay, so now to the attic, the last section to conquer in our series. We're going to need to take, uh, take ourselves, of course, the slabs firstly. We will stick one block here. Well, one slab here. We'll build a block here and here. Then we're going to build a block with the slab on top. I'm going to basically mimic this technique until we have six lots of these middle ones. So one, that's the second one, and then of course you need to add six. So, so have six in total. So once again, if you'd like to get a block instead, it may be a bit easier. Uh, possibly frog, um, swap out your frog light. Almost said frog light your swap out. Oh, we already have it. My mistake, I'm a noob. So if we go for, now we have one, two, three. We don't want these ones on the sides to be the same level otherwise it's not going to look right. So you need to make sure that it's not looking the same, which is a bit tough, I know. So just change it like that. And then I'm going to look up the stairs. It's very, very dark on my picture, so I'm going to have to really try my best here. And I'm going to build this. So it's like a real diagonal path. It's very, very hard to see. One, two, three, four, like so. Of course here, first bit we need to shave off, except for that block there, is this one up here. That's fine, we will change the entire rest of the staircase here to be mangrove and um, spruce to fit in with the walls. But until we can have the staircase down, we must stick with a sort of pattern here. So what I'm going to do is just stick one block of um, dark oak here. See, it's still touching diagonally like we have been here, and it still goes up a slab layer. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If we stick another one there, trim that off slightly as well. I think we can. Um, let me just check this on my photo. 
we may need to may need to sort this out in a moment let me go check my dimensions i'm pretty sure it's looking good though all right assassins so i've been to check my original and to be honest this is looking really really good the only kind of troublesome part is we do end up having to show certain elements of course of this in the bathroom which i didn't kind of factor in when i was building this so that's my bad so if we just go ahead and kind of add in a few sections here so let's just check our dimensions firstly of course one two three four we need two more so we're going to add in one here and one this side to get that you know diagonal but then we need the one up from that which is going to be our counting one so we'll go in there like so can I remove those behind now so now we have one two three four five next to the frog light here and then I'm going to do my top one that's six now just there and if I go ahead and add in some blocks just around this one there that will make our sixth one so now if we look at this from the ground we have this sort of design here I know it looks really really complex all it is is a slab here two blocks on its diagonals slab blocks on its diagonals slab blocks on diagonals slab blocks on diagonals but firstly touching the wall here slab blocks on diagonals touching the frog light and then a slab at the very top here and that is our final one so now we have our total of six here one two three four five and six straight next to the doorway there and of course straight into this little gap that we've made here between our two rooms very very important stuff but very very tricky to you know get right so if you guys are a little bit stuck or anything please feel free to ask me any questions you may have in the comments below i honestly messed up so many times when i was building this um and uh, i also messed up a lot in my plan trying to make the staircase look you know iconic to the show it's very tough but um that's looking good so far hell yeah okay now if we go up with another one so we're going to use a block for this one here so once you reach the top of your diagonal staircase if you like you go up into this little gap here so we place a block then we'll do a slab beside the block so up from it a block in here so it comes up another kind of slab layer i guess and we need a total of five of these mini steps so one this is here by the way not on this diagonal so it's one two three four and five is going to be a one block at the top there now at the very top here this is where we stop to actually go into our kind of little layer which is just a block here and then we add our door on this one up here what i'm going to do before adding in my doorway is i'm pretty sure it is a stripped dark oak but i know that next to it is going to be three planks two going to be visible from the actual pathway or floor if you like just here now this is where we can do the interesting part which is going to be actually making this part of the building it is extremely tough you may have to remove this frog light now and replace it with a spruce wood instead just here I know, it's going to be a nightmare. We're also going to do spruce wood basically on the spruce wood layers. So every time you need to place in a spruce wood, make sure it's on the same layer as the previous floor. So like here. We're also going to do it on this side. Bear in mind that uh, you're not going to need any of the excess space. So if you want to just build up from the ground, then that's obviously fine as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is copy the same design as before down here. To make sure it goes diagonal so it's obviously going to be the same like that and we enclose the staircase around this design like that i really hope that makes sense guys i know this is so complicated well that one's not going to be seen but i'm still going to keep the same sort of aesthetic going I'm going to do this like that awesome now up here as we get further up the sort of chain here um we can change everything to just spruce afterwards just so it looks kind of similar to uh, coming up to the attic. So even up here, if you just need to change stuff to make it look more nice, then feel free. And up here as well. Now as far as this little bit goes, if it's not showing up on the inside, well that one is, those two are, so that's fine. But those we can change up to spruce as well. And then we can finally change the rest of this area to be spruce too. And we just build this up to the same height as the um, spruce just there. The roof part for this uh, staircase is the only part that we change the layering of. The rest of it can kind of be in a capsule like we're making here. Just up to the same height as that spruce like I was on about before. The planks up there. 
So now we have this almost capsule sort of thing going for us. So it looks like this. Now if you did want to go ahead and layer the mangrove as well, so every time that we go up a step, the mangrove goes up a step as well, you can do that. But honestly, there is no real right or wrong technique to the walls of this little staircase. It is a very, very hard section. So if you wanted to just go ahead and do completely spruce or completely mangrove, please feel free. It's up to you guys. So here I might just go ahead and make some, some more mangrove here just to make it look kind of like it's feeding upwards like this. Uh, even though we all know it's <laughs> it stops stops still now. And the same over here. Just going to change it slightly to be like that. So it looks a little bit more detailed, really. But yeah, and I might do this one and this one. Like that. Yeah, you can be messing around with it for hours, honestly. It is a tricky part. But yeah, that looks good. Okay, so the next thing to do will be to layer it so that we can get up the staircase without banging our head. But also make sure it's still quite tight from the roof. Because we want to make sure that this is dark and dingy kind of looking. So for that... I recommend standing on a step, so standing on the middle steps that we've been counting, these ones here. Right, I'm not going to bang my head if I place a spruce block here, but on the way down I'm probably going to. Yeah, I have to go on the sides, we don't want that. So we're going to raise it up here and make the corner there. Now when we do a second corner, we build a second layer to the previous one, and then we go ahead and like bring it forward like that. So now when we walk down, no bang in our head, no bang in our head. Wonderful. So technique again, second layer to the previous one, and then we build forward. Let me grab myself a frog light just so I can show you this without uh, it getting too dark. Let's go ahead and stick this up here. And then of course, next one, layer up, and then next one out. We do this until we reach the top where it's no longer diagonal. So we do that there, take out the frog light, do a second layer there, and then bring this all the way forward. Oops, maybe not all the way. Uh, probably to about here just show you so just here before we go into this second step before going up to the top and then we go ahead and enclose this part into an entirely new layer above the door frame like so awesome now you could move that back if you are getting a bit troublesome with it like this let me stick a lantern down now the lantern placement is the only kind of important part here just because it lights the um you know this attic staircase from the top down uh, rather than the other way around. Now the way the way we put this lantern is literally three blocks back from the door and the spruce. So it goes one, two, three, and then on the third one up, we stick it here. And that's of course gonna be in our in our headspace, so we do it just there instead. Like that. And um, because we're going to make a new roof, you can take this out to replace it like that. And all of these blocks too that follow. <laughs> We've actually reached the top of the grill house. We've, we're not limited by the sky anymore. We have to change it all. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a nightmare, but um, it will be good to do. And once we've changed the, uh, the actual roof here to make an actual room up here, it will look awesome, I promise. But yeah, that's awesome. So now we have ourselves a very, very tight and dingy staircase. And that looks really cool. I might just change this back to spruce because I'm no longer liking it. <laughs> I did it and I was thinking, oh, I look awesome from the ground. But no, it looks kind of bad. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and that one maybe as well. Sorry, guys. This is my mistake and I'm still filming. Just to show you what I mean. It's literally like about what you like. And... Um, there you go, see, it all looks the same up there now, which is good. So yeah, perfect. Okay, awesome. I think, because we've actually made a lot of progress so far today, and we're doing good for time, we should maybe try and get the room laid out, and then we can just furnish next episode to complete the entire series. What do you guys reckon? I think that'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get some more materials, and uh, destroy the roof. <laughs> destroy some of the roof to uh, build this attic. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have a whole bunch of new materials. Now what we're going to do is a technique called build to destroy. I'm sure there are cooler YouTubers who call it something absolutely awesome and uh, it, it makes sense. But um, <laughs> I'm just going to call mine build to destroy. And what we're going to do for that is we're basically going to build the amount of space we need and then kind of transform it into a new roof, if that makes sense. Instead of having to build a new roof and then hope everything fits inside of it. 
So I think the best way to do it is build the build the actual room first and then surround it by the new roof and hope it kind of matches up, if that makes sense. So if we're gonna take uh, if we're gonna do that, we're gonna take ourselves some spruce stairs, some spruce wood, a mangrove door, some spruce planks, uh, some warped stairs, some warped hyphae, some stripped dark oak wood, some spruce slabs, and some soul sand as well. These materials here, the kind of different ones from the wood, are gonna be used in building Vecna's kind of lair part. Um, of course, we're not gonna be able to furnish that today, but if we get a little bit laid out, then that'll be good. Right then, we're gonna use the door over here to start this entire room off. We're not gonna need any light, which is awesome, because we can just break to the sky if we need any light, <laughs> which is epic. Okay, so to get started, we'll place our door in here like so. Oh, I wanna go this way around, like that. Tiny little detail, but always kind of bothers me if I don't get it exactly the same as my original. I wanna stick an upside down stair here. I wanna build two more planks in here, and another upside down stair in there like so. We're gonna build a spruce wood here, here. I'm gonna do myself a, a few spruce wood just above the door frame like so. It's not the most important, but then I can build outwards for one, here for one, two down on the right side of the door, and I'm actually gonna destroy the roof here to match kind of this area like so. So now once I'm up here, I can take this pillar to go two blocks higher, here, and this will kind of be a beam that goes on the start and end of our roof. I want to stick an upside down spruce stair here, and then a block above that one here. Also going to do a block just besides it, down to the left side. Next to this block, I'll do a plank like so. Then I'll do upside down um, spruce stairs here. Just coming along for a few at the moment. We'll only do like four and the same here. Then now down next to this block, we'll do a spruce plank. Four more upside down spruce stairs. And I'm gonna spin my picture around just so I can see what to do next. So I'm gonna go over this way now, kind of towards this side. I'm gonna destroy the roof a bit more towards this way. No real number intended. Just make sure that you don't go too far over what you've already planked up here. We don't want too much space, but we just need enough. So let's go also up to those stairs there in a big sort of rectangle shape like this. There we go. If you want, you can come out with the same amount of blocks on both sides. So over here we have obviously two blocks past the quartz. So we'll do the same over here. So one and two. So we'll just destroy that layer there as well like that. Try and make a rectangle sort of shape, just so you know what to work with. Good stuff. All right, so let's go back down to this way. Ups and downstairs will come along for four for now, along this way as well. And then past this pillar, we can do another spruce uh, plank, and then four more stairs to be continued this way too. Let's destroy these blocks in there. Up this end, we want to change this one to be an ups and downstair going along this way, and it's gonna go along for quite a while. We're gonna do, so that's three. Let's go for four, five, mm, let's do five for now. Five will be good. We'll do another five, but the right way up, just below it. And then another five ups or down below that one. Now we're gonna build back in towards this way. So off of our kind of raised platform. We'll do spruce planks here. We'll come to the other side of the five and do spruce planks from there upwards. We'll take spruce wood for three in here. Uh, three up this way and three up this way. And then we'll build one in the center there. Now the reason we've left this entire space hollow back here is for an artificial window. Now because we didn't need the entire attic space, otherwise this would have been huge, um, we're gonna make a fake window that will go back in here. So we'll literally just use some light blocks back here and try and make it look like it's kind of glowing from the outside light, which of course it's not, but. No one needs to know but us. <laughs> so yeah, we do that for now, and we can leave that for afterwards. Uh, you can also do a block of spruce just above, just to show it's a window like so. Now we can build another pillar here, so outwards from the spruce, and this one will go up and stop exactly the same layer as the other one on the left side. Now what we need to do is copy what we've done over here, but on the other side coming downwards. So I'm gonna do two blocks of spruce here, 
coming outwards. I'm going to stick a block of spruce here, then spruce wood, uh, spruce block, sorry, blank, and then spruce wood. So I have the same design on both sides. Almost the same. I think I've missed a block of spruce on this way for now. So I'll just do that in there like that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it looks good. So now back across this way, we'll do another upside down spruce stair here. And of course a plank. And above the spruce stair, a plank. And then above that one, a plank as well, next to those upside down. Again, these are going to come forward this way for four upside down for now. Four upside down here, 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 and of course here. So literally next to all the spruce plank locks, we do ourselves upside down stairs. And you can really see how this is becoming a room now. So basically the idea is, this is going to feed all the way back towards this section, or at least kind of to this section. Uh, and then we close off the actual tower part for where Vecna is going to be chilling, just in here. <laughs> so he's going to be relaxing in there on his little strings. Good stuff. What I'm going to do is going to count the, um, the ups and downs stairs now, and then we can build those and get them out of the way. Don't worry guys, I know it looks a little bit ugly, kind of protruding from the roof here at the moment, but it's going to look really good once it's done. So basically we have four at the moment, we need to make this into eleven. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So literally right up to the tower's edge, which means that we're not going to need this bit of space for the inside. So you can actually take that out. You can also take out this part of the tower too, so this little back section here. So make sure you have a block on basically both sides of the upside down stairs, like we did for this end. Now match up this one to 11, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then of course you build all the rest of these upside down stairs to your 11 blocks in total. Like this, and these ones. To be honest, I found this section quite relaxing. I like to build like attic rooms because they have a really cool shape. Um, it is hard, don't get me wrong, but it is fun too. Let's go ahead and build this one to the same. Just there, yep. Next one. And when I was doing this in my original plan, I actually was listening to the EerieCast podcast that I listened to, which is basically um, teaching you about like mythical creatures, which is pretty cool. So, um, and folklore. <laughs> so yeah, I was listening to uh, one of those whilst I was doing this. It was lovely. Right, anyways, <laughs> back to business. I'm getting sidetracked. That looks awesome. So if we go ahead and now build in our mini beams, which are going to be kind of two set across the attic. For those, we go and leave a gap of three between each of these. So one, two, three. On four, build one upwards to five. One, two, three, four, five, touching the uh, top layer of stairs. Leave another gap of three and do five again. Of course, this one doesn't have a base, so you're gonna build six in total. Here as well, so match up the other side like that. And here as well, like that. So now we're kind of building what looks like a Viking sort of dining hall, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But there we go, it looks good. All right, lovely. So now we're going to need to build ourselves the other side of the room now, the hard part where we have Vecna's kind of lair. This part is only hard because we swi uh, switch up the materials a little bit, and of course that makes everything a little harder. But it's going to be good to do. So all we need to do for this side is we need to copy what we did at the start, which is adding planks onto the ends of the stairs. That's the first step, which is why we left one more gap of roof space for doing this. And we still have little holes that we need to fill in, of course. So for that, you're going to take your spruce wood. We're going to add in ourselves a block just here. We're going to do three here in total. One here and one down here. These two at the very bottom are going to have upside down stairs next to them. Behind them, you can now build in three blocks of spruce wood like that. So they kind of close up that gap. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build another block of spruce from this one. Then we'll take a warped hyphae here. Also one just diagonally up from it here. Two more spruce wood out from that one at the very top there. Two more warped hyphae just up here. A spruce wood here. A warped here, here, and to its left, sorry, to its right, and also down one as well. We're going to add in another spruce wood here. And then I guess there's going to be another one on this side as well. I can't see exactly, 
but I'm going to say so just here. And then on the second one, you can do another two coming down for this. We'll do another one here. One, two in that corner. And then we'll actually build a total of four down here. But there are going to be a couple kind of cutouts here, just in the middle, for those two. We want to kind of copy the other side. So if we go for another spruce wood there, and then what we'll do is we'll do our ups and down stairs for these two here. I'm going to build this one down for another one, just so it's there. And over here on my warp typhae, I'm also going to build this one down for another block just in here. And then my last one's going to be a warp typhae as well. So where we ended the upside down stair here, that's going to be our floor level, of course, as you know from here. Let's add in our floor now, just so we know where everything's going to be. So if you go underneath the ending spruce wood blocks, that's going to be the last accessible part for us to be. So we build just up to this one as well. Let's make sure everything is the same direction. And here as well. Now, of course, there are going to be ups and downstairs stairs beyond that point as well, kind of going back in towards um, the building. For now, though, just add in your floor that goes in here. This may be the trickiest part because it's hard to know where it's going to be. But if you just use your door, go along from the door and then build from each of the spruce wood back to each other, you eventually are left with like a rectangle shape. And that is what we want. You just got to trust the process in this one. And if it does kind of mess up a little bit, not to worry, not to worry at all. This space up here is going to be wasted space if we don't use it. So feel free to add in any extra bits and bobs or even just extend your attic a bit more. So I'm going to build upwards just to this section here, like so. Awesome. That looks really good. Okay, cool. Good job, guys. Well done. So if we go over to this side again, where we have our warp type and all that sort of stuff, we are going to stick ourselves a um, warp stair here, a normal spruce stair here, a warp stair kind of in the middle here. Uh, I'm actually going to do it backwards like that. I'm going to do another one here and here. And then on this side, I'm also going to do um, one. Uh, oh, no, that's actually all we need just there. Yeah, lovely. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to add in myself two more spruce planks over here. And I'm going to do my sail. Blah, blah. I'm going to do myself the same over here, like that, just to cover up that little area. Yeah, that looks good. Now, as far as the undersides go in here, these little gaps, what you're going to need to do, and for the other side of the door, is you literally need to stick upside down stairs here and here. And then we're just going to literally cover this up with spruce planks as well, as we did for the other side, like that. Nothing fancy at all. And as far as this part goes, you do yourself planks on both ends, cut into the floor a little bit just so you can stand, and then you're going to drag yourself your upside down stairs along this way to each of the planks. Really nothing special at all. And then you can just cover up the bottom part with more of your stripped spruce wood, or dark oak wood even, and this will allow you to uh, close up that little gap there by adding in the floor. So it literally touches the floor of this roof. It's like a canopy roof. It's pretty cool. See how it looks good. And then if we go around this way, do the same. So you do another spruce wood here and here next to your, sorry, spruce plank next to your spruce wood. Cut into the floor just so you can get back and forth a little easier. Don't want to replace that in a minute. And then add in your upside down stairs here. And then your floors. It is a pretty cool design if I do say so myself really like this one I use the kind of cabin effect just to make it look worthwhile but yeah it looks awesome look at this hell yeah guys now I'm gonna go check the roof and I'm also gonna check what it is beyond Vecna's kind of lair just so we can make sure we get everything done today structural wise before moving on to the uh, furnishings all right guys so all we need to do is grab ourselves some spruce stairs some spruce slabs a spruce fence gate some light grey stained glass, some bedrock, soul stand, soul stand even, not stand, <laughs> warp stairs, warped hyphae, and a pearlescent frog light. An actual frog light I can pronounce. How is how nice is that? 
<laughs> right, let's go ahead and firstly build in this window. It is probably the simplest part in this part, so if we go ahead and uh, do this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick ourselves some spruce fence gates here in the uh, spruce wood. Open them up so you can travel to and from, and they're also going to stay open. We want to go ahead and build ourselves a pearlescent frog light quite far back into this window. Now I went about three layers of glass back, so imagine these are glass, one, two, three. On the fourth one will be our pearlescent frog light here. Now don't make these all the way, you just need two back there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to encase them around here using ourselves our slabs. So we just build blocks in here, almost for like their own flooring. And then we just want to go ahead and build up the sides as well with these. Keep the roof the exact same as it is already because that's going to be perfect. And the pearlescent frog lights will be the back kind of wall for this window. And then just build forward with your glass. Oops, may want to stick the uh, fences back afterwards. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's it. That's the window done. Uh, just a little detail and also lights up the attic a bit more for us, which is very helpful, especially later on. Now then, for the very roof of this attic, we are going to need to make the inside roof firstly before doing the outside roof, of course. So what we're going to do for that one is we're going to go to the top layer of this part over here, so where Vecna's kind of layer part is. Now we have this already because it's all built up nicely, which is good. So what we're going to need to do is build ourselves blocks on these like that, and over here too. So five spruce planks. And then we'll go ahead and build from the back here upside down starting on this side but going straight the way to the other side like this already but instead of going just straight away and stopping there on this side over here where the window is we're going to curve them around like that and then we're going to build backwards in a straight line oops upside down though come on wheel like that to the other side so they curve around this end with the window but they go straight into this pack part where Be uh, Beckner? <laughs> Beckner. Beckner is going to be sitting back here. <laughs> Beckner. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like a mean girl. Like imagine Stranger Things villain was just a mean girl called Beckner. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, now we're going to take ourselves planks all the way along the middle part here. On the roof. Back from Beckner. Beckner's lair. <laughs> like this. Um, and you can connect them to this back wall now if you want. You don't have to build kind of in that section there, you can just do it like that. And then we just do slabs in the middle. Like this. So it kind of sections almost two sides of the uh, cabin style roof off from one another to build this wall in like so. And this end still looks like a stair because it's like an optical illusion. Which is pretty cool because we have the bottom stair upside down. And yeah, that's literally it for the roof there. That's pretty simple stuff. Now for the rest of uh, Vecna's lair, set it right now. Um, we're going to go in here and just literally take ourselves some warped hyphae. We'll mess about with this afterwards, but for now, you just want to build it from our new wall here and this side up to just beside the quartz of the windows here. Let's just fill all this in with warped hyphae for now. And then, like I said, we can mess with it once we get onto doing the interior in episode 10. All I did for the actual roof in this part was I went next to the blocks of these stairs and just added an upside down stairs kind of next to those blocks but with my warped stairs so like this oh that was wrong sorry like that so instead of going next to the stairs I did it a little bit further up just so it's a bit more open in here and then this very top one up here you can replace it with some maybe um, warped hyphae or even some more um, of your stairs and you can just literally add in like a row along there just so it closes up the space nicely but yeah most of this space is going to be actually like covered up with different materials oh, I need that soul sand back um, just to make it a little bit more you know veterinary so we make it look really uh, like dark and dirty and dingy and just awful looking so <laughs> let me get my um, soul sand back and I'll be right back sorry about that guys I've got it back now so what we need to do in here is to make the floor a little bit different and make it look more corrupted, like the upside down. We want to go and leave a block here, change this one, this one, this one, and this one. Then go to the next layer down and change this one and this one. And the next layer further forward is this one just here. 
This first one is going to be uh, two bedrock going upwards. Soul sand here. Two bedrock up from the soul sand. Two soul sand to the right of the bedrock. And we'll do three on the left. Bedrock, oops, so bedrock, bedrock to the left. Soul sand in here and here. We're going to use a lot of dead coral here as well, so don't worry. It's not all going to be like this. Then we'll do on this side, we'll do ourselves uh, two more of our bedrock here and here. Two more in here. One here. One here. Knock out the frog light and replace one there. Here as well. And then we'll do one in the back corner, one in that back corner. And then we'll soul sand the rest up. Like this. Now sadly, until episode 10 comes out, your window isn't going to have a glow up here. But don't worry, I'm going to rush out episode 10 and get this done for you guys. <laughs> It'll be cool to have this all done and ready to go. We're so close to the end now. It'll be like touching gold um, and then, you know, having to wait ages for it to actually be, you know, in your bank account or something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a weird analogy. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this inside. There's one final thing we need to do today. And that is, of course, building the exterior roof to make it look kind of grand still from the outside. Let's get that sorted. And then we can call it a day. Now, I want to be bold and say that I think I know what you're thinking right now. And you're going to be thinking, oh, damn, we've got to change the entire roof and it's going to be a nightmare. I'm going to assure you guys that if it was a nightmare, I would definitely tell you. I, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of bad experiences with building. But no, honestly, this is a really, really simple section. It's not as bad as you may think. We're going to take some cobbled deep slate stairs, some smooth quartz slabs, some cobbled deep slate slabs, and some cobbled deep slate. I hope you got that and my lips didn't kind of get in the way. Um, we are going to come down here to the turret and we basically need to just adjust this in order for it to flow a bit nicer with this back roof now. So all that we need to do is come to this stair here, which is in the corner here, knock it out for a block and do the exact same over here. Oh no, 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 don't worry about this left side actually at the moment. Let's keep that the same. Let's do one side at a time. So that's one block. We add a slab on top of it. We will take a stair just here. And then we'll do two slabs just here from it. Now we'll come down here. And as we know, this is going to be a block because it is a block of um, spruce wood, as we know. Now, if you wanted to have a little hole that you're going to see some deep slate in, not to worry because this is actually Vecna's side of the roof. So if there's a little bit of deep slate poking through, it's not the end of the world. It kind of looks cool. So we're going to do a deep slate block here. We're going to do a slab on top of that one. And we're going to knock out the one behind it for two lots of quartz. Basically a quartz block. We're then going to do ourselves a cobble deep slate here. And then a slab here on top of that one. That quartz. Now down here at the front, you can do yourselves one slab here. And now I'm going to go ahead and curve myself a step round. No, you know what? I might just keep it a normal step. I'm going to go four steps all the way here. And then I might just stop there for now. Yeah like this looking good now we'll do stairs again and stop before we reach that one and again stairs just up here and stopping at the end of that one we're going to bring quartz slabs from this one right the way to the back just here over the spruce and not any further and this is going to be for the entire top of the, uh, the build here now that will cover up that little annoying hole back there and that will look much better so when we've covered this all up, it will look nice and smooth. There we are. Now if we go ahead and spin around to the other side, around here, we kind of do a similar thing, but we don't change as much. Down here, we're going to do ourselves a slab, knock this block out for a cobbled deep slate, add in a slab here, and then a slab on top of that block. We'll add in a quartz block in here, and also we'll knock that one off and add in another one. Same if there's a little hole on this side. There is. So just make it quartz like that. We don't want any of the inside material showing up on the outside. And we try not to have any of the outside materials showing up on the inside. But it is tough, of course. So yeah, that looks good. And now we go ahead and stick ourselves a cobble deep set here. A slab here. And then, of course, our stairs are going to run right the way to the back on these three layers. Like that. And they're going to be hugging the, um, the spruce back here. Now once we get to the back section up here, it is looking kind of manky, isn't it? Now I'll show you what I did on the other side. 
you're gonna, you're gonna laugh at this because it looks much more confused than it actually is. We literally cut the corners like that, to cut the first corner, add in a block and slab, and then just do like a connection stair at the top, and then literally the bottom two are not connected at all. <laughs> it looks so much harder than it is. Let me see if I can build it correctly now, after kind of bigging it up. Let's do a block here and here, a slab on top of each of those. We'll build the stairs out towards the block, and then we'll build in front of the block a row of stairs like so. A row of stairs here, and remember the top ones are going to curve around, so we're going to knock off those quartz, and we're going to, instead of building blocks in here, we're just going to curve the stairs like that. And that is the main reason why if we come back into the inside, we've curved the stairs on this end with the window, rather than that side with a turret. It makes sense now, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. Um, by the way, if you don't like the fact that this, you know, material's kind of poking through there, feel free to change it. I know it looks a bit manky on the inside. Um, it is a hard one to sort of cover up. If you did want to cover it up, I just recommend changing the stairs around like that. And that will save you some time and kind of a little bit more hassle there. Um, in here, I'm just going to change this one to a spruce wood on both sides. Like that. Yeah. See, it looks a little nicer. And if you do the same here as well, you can cover up those outside materials a bit more. Cool. Let's break ourselves back out. Let's replace those blocks so we can sort that out for next time. But that's literally it. That is all there is to it. Down here, I'm just going to make sure that that's back to normal. And I will stick my lantern in the same spot. Which was just about here. Three blocks back. Yep, good stuff. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial, guys. So now, yeah, as you guys can see, this looks so much cleaner now up here. It looks so much nicer. And it's all, you know, actually filled up and kind of cool. Oh, what have I done there? Move that one out of the way. But yeah, no, it looks a lot better, and um, it just makes it look like a whole lot, like we've actually put in like a lot more work than we have done just here. So um, yeah, and from the down kind of low, from like way down here, you can't tell anything has changed at all, which is amazing. And even if you're flying around at the top up here, you can maybe see like a little bit of kind of uh, spruce poking through. But like I said, if you don't like that, feel free to change it. You just literally need to add in a bit of quartz maybe, uh, a bit of cobble, whatever is on your on your mind really. Just go ahead and change it to that. Might do a little bit of cobble there instead. Something like that. So yeah, that's all there is to it. But yeah guys, this has been episode number 9 of the Creole House Interior. Built in Minecraft and of course from Stranger Things. We are so close to the very end of this series now. I cannot tell you how exciting it is to actually finally have this completed. It's mad. Out of the amount of work that's gone into it to actually get this to a filming stage to um, actually having it finished is just mind-blowing it's awesome but yeah guys thank you so much for watching episode 9 if you did enjoy today's video please be sure to drop a like on it of course if you are interested in staying tuned for episode 10 coming very very shortly where i'll be getting vecna's lair finally built and the attic completed and the entire house bloody completed it's gonna be awesome stay tuned for that one by subscribing that'd be awesome check me out on my social medias for any updates that may be coming in the future and yeah guys thank you so much really appreciate you all you have an excellent rest of your day take it easy have a good one goodbye for now